and today we are going to quickly go over two weapons that have been in my inventory that has not yet been reviewed yet. Reason being, I just simply haven't got to it yet. But today is the day where I finally get to it. So, two weapons that I will be going over in this weapons closet episode. Numero no idea will be the PSG one and the VIP Springbow. So let me get started with the best ones first, that being PSG one. So a little bit of some background about the PSG one. The PSG one is a high level sniper rifle that is one of the few weapons in the game that requires a certain prerequisite in order to unlock it. In case you're wondering, the prerequisite for the PSG-1 sniper rifle is 150,000 kills. If you do not have 150,000 kills, you cannot get this gun. Furthermore, it can shoot through most walls in the game. Plus, it also comes with a prone Nice option to prone that will also also lengthen your aiming against uh, walls and piercing through them. But all right, let's get started with the details and enough rambling about the background information and probably more information that you've already known. So its normal damage is 11. Its maximum damage is 12, and its minimum damage is 9. The fire type is indeed an automatic. It is not tap to fire, it is not semi automatic, it is actually an automatic. Considering how fast it fires, you might as well consider that's appropriate. Its clip size is 14, so it's about the average clip size of a normal gun. It only shoots one bullet per shot, and it has perfect dead on accuracy. Its freeze rate is pretty high, actually. Yeah, that's a pretty high freeze rate. I'm not going to say very high, but that is pretty high. High to a point where, in certain activities in this game, that can get pretty problematic. Its fire rate, however, Pretty fast fire rate if you ask me. But you see these categories that I put in them to, such as you know, fast, very fast, uh, accurate, not so accurate, average, poor, fast, high, whatever, they're not really exactly the most precise categories you can put them into. They're pretty general. So just bear with me when I say this freeze rate's high and the fire rate's fast. So it also has a pretty fast reload speed as well. If you um, disregard the delay time, it's pretty fast. Yeah, you see, if you reload without the delay time, it goes right back into firing. So that's a pretty, that's a very fast reload. Uh, its price is eighty thousand. Now, I would not vote this as a spying weapon because the freeze rate is just simply too high. In addition, the weapon is just simply too accurate. Now, I understand that a lot of spying weapons are accurate, which I can see that. Clearly, weapons like the Vector and that M4A1, whatever gun, I don't know the name of it, but <clears throat> that other spying gun that is not the Vector they have some pretty high accuracies, but they still are significantly better in SPA because of their, um, their substantial freeze rate. I would actually advise this gun for BK because of its high damage. It, um, if you do the math, if a player has 50 HP, it only takes 5 shots with a bar to um, take them down. Which, yes, with the PSG, it's the same amount. PSG requires 5 shots in order to take someone down that has 50 HP. 
but if they have anything less than 50 HP, it might take a little bit less than a branding automatic rifle, where branding might require 4 shots, a PSJ might require only 3, based on how much health they have remaining. <coughs> uh, I wouldn't necessarily call this a streaking weapon, although it is great for PKing because of its high damage and its fire rate as well. Usually when it comes to PKing, freeze rate you really shouldn't take too much into account because weapons like the AA-12 you can't even move at all, but you can still end up getting a ton of kills just by simply standing in one spot. Like how I am right now, but not necessarily with this gun. But still, PK advised. Not necessarily streaking though. Streaking, you might want to go something a little bit better, perhaps a ship or an AA-12 or a PvP shotgun would be nice. And this is a definite for basing because it's important to have a weapon that can pierce through doors, uh, walls, and other structures that might get in the way where a gun, a usual gun, couldn't typically shoot through, but a weapon such as this can date. Now, one last thing. If you lay down, there are a few noticeable differences as well. Um, first things first, the sound changes. That's not really too big of a, uh, a deal, but what's really important is that your range through walls is increased. So if you have a really, really thick wall in front of you, um, laying down like this with the PSG just might actually get the shots through it. But don't take my word on that, because not all, not all areas can uh, be reached, even with a weapon like this, with such a long range and barrel and such. But, if you hold it down, it looks like it's about the same fire rate, which I think it is, but if you tap fire, which gets a full clip, right? if you tap fire, the weapon's significantly faster. And this is great for basing, but not necessarily for PKing, because if somebody gets behind you, well then, like I said in one of my other videos, I think it's one of the city wall videos, you'll have to, um, kind of account for where they are and where you are stuck in the ground. You can't move when you're in this position, by the way, so you're very vulnerable to enemy fire, but if you're in a safe position, this is a, uh, a very, very um, good stance to be in, as long as you're in a defensive spot, however. If you're out in the open, this may be problematic. But yeah, this is a deadly fast fire rate. That's just, that's extremely fast. But, enough about that, I believe we covered everything about the PSG-1 that we need. So, the next weapon. This is the Springbow. It came out during the springtime, during uh, this year, 2015. So I think. I think so, yes. Um, 2015 this weapon came out. And, well, at first it was a bit hyped. People enjoyed using it. But then, of course, like everything else, it slowly began to die down to a point where it is, its usage is minuscule. So, let's get started. Its normal damage, I believe, is 5. I haven't really exactly checked on it too much, but I do believe the damage is 5. Its normal damage should be 4. Yeah, there's no description here. but. The weapon stays in perfect condition forever, so it's always 5 damage, but if it were to rust, its normal damage would be 4, and its minimum damage would be 3. Its fire type, it's semi-automatic. Its clip size is infinity, you never have to reload, you just keep on firing. Uh, it only shoots one arrow of push shot has perfect accuracy, so it seems to me. Its freeze rate? Well, I'd say it's a moderate freeze rate. It's definitely not low, but it's definitely not as high as the PSJ. Alright. Its fire rate? Mm. I'd say it's a pretty slow fire rate. Not very slow, but it's slow. I believe this weapon did get nerfed, indeed. 
Um, it was originally faster, but of course, uh, this weapon does have a poison effect, a chance to poison your enemy, and to slow them down and hinder their speed, and also inflict um, about like two to three points of damage, I believe. But the fire rate got nerfed because, well, that's just simply too fast, and well, a fast weapon such as this may increase that chance of poisoning the enemy, and that's a bit cheap, so you can understand what they were doing by uh, nerfing the spring bow. It's reload speed, since there is no reload or clip size at all, um, that can be negated completely, and its price is, well, considering it's VIP, it's 7,500. So, the spa, no. Weapon's too accurate, freeze rate's too high. PKing, no. Weapon is far too slow. And even then, the damage isn't all that high. Streaking, no. Same reason. It's not that damage isn't all that high. Fire rate's too slow. You, you can use better guns than this. And basing, well. Because if you picked up the dart gun from this, um, the water park, I'm not sure what year it was, I think it was probably last year, 2014, if you picked up those dart guns and you picked up the dual wield, I think that fire might be faster than this. And even then, I think the chance is a little more effective. So overall, this weapon is absolute crap. You, well... It's only going to take a matter of time before you pull this weapon away and realize, hey, I got better guns. So, in the next episode, I have no clue what the heck I'll be reviewing because I have seem to have gone over my limits. It's again, I've done the AP-7, done the artillery, done the also, the Browning, the Chili, the Famous, the Ghost M4, the Graylians, the Handgun, KMP, M16, M1, M3, M4, MK23, No Blade, P2K, P90, PBB, Default, PSG, Shepka, Shotgun, SMG, Steampunk, Tech 9, Bloat, Pipe, Throwing Knife, Starter Gun, Uzi, Tezek, Ultrice Gun, and the Blue Water Pistol. And now, the Spring Bow. So, I have no clue what weapons to do next. But, I uh, may have a shot at another account that might have some substantial equipment. Speaking of which, I should also go to um, my Noob Days account and probably do a Blue Cat's Weapon Closet, even though it won't really be Blue Cat, it'll be Onorio, but same concept, I'll be overviewing the gun. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later.